Morning guys, it's it's about 20 past 6 in the morning on the Sunday and I am so 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 tired, it's actually unreal, I just want to stay in bed but sadly we're getting kicked out of the hotel at 12 so we need to, uh, well I'm going to get up, get in the shower, have a cup of coffee and whatnot and then uh, I'm going to pack my suitcase ready I'm uh, going to take it down to the Hilton, uh, probably put it behind the bar or something and then I'll do that time lapse video for you guys that I promised yesterday and yeah basically th th that's all I want to say, I think I think today um, all I really want to do is if they stock up on Masterpiece Iron Hides I would definitely like to get one uh, but apart from that uh, I'm very happy with uh, what I got yesterday because uh, like I said yesterday I think I've got enough uh, for, for today as well, so I don't, I don't really need much, it's just I would like the iron hide. Uh, so yeah, but apart from that, I think today we're just going to spend most of the time in the bar area playing with toys. So. Yeah, I think, um, I think really both of us did buy, like, a fairly decent amount yesterday. So, I think, I know Jack especially is going to spend a lot of time in the bar because He's got like z n nearly no money left, but me, I mean, I've still got a, d a decent amount of money left, but there's nothing major I'm really looking for at the moment, so I might just do the same plan as yesterday and have no plan. Mm. Just if I see something yeah. that takes my fancy, if it's cheap enough, I may pick it up, but I'm going to be a bit more careful than Jack with a suitcase room. So yeah. I, need to, I need to make sure... I've got enough room in the suitcase first. Yeah, that's one thing I uh, uh, one thing I didn't account for because it turns out this guy yeah, he's fucking huge. is uh, it's pretty big. I'm gonna focus. And one yeah, one thing I will turns out he's pretty big. So yeah, uh, the uh, oh, oh the it's the subsection. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, this is my suitcase. Yeah, and it, it is fairly decent size yeah. right now. Oh, but look at that! Where are all the Hercules boxes? It just it fits perfectly. That's the Hercules boxes, and then I've got all my masterpieces then, uh, in that container as well. This one is like it's got it's basically full at yeah, the moment. Yeah, and I, I've still got to put my clothes and some foods and drinks and stuff and yeah. I've got to somehow fit a pair of uh, like two pairs of trainers in there as well so oh, I don't think you will which are down there so <laughs> and I've got comics as well but still anyway uh, I'm gonna leave the, the segment here um, so yeah and then I'll probably get back to you guys later on in the day probably in the bar area again I'll do that time that's for you guys as well today so because uh, I got the GoPro up and running. I don't know why it didn't work yesterday. It makes no sense. I can't. But I have no clue. But still. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna jump in the shower, and I'll see you guys in the next segment. I guess. So peace. Yeah. What's going on? We're back, and as you can tell, we are we are outside. There's some cars behind me, which uh, I'm gonna show off in a minute. But uh, I did the time lapse uh, for you guys. The GoPro was all working. It's all fine. I did like an hour recording, just walking about, looking at some uh, some uh, stores and whatnot. So I'm gonna speed that up, try and cut it up, so it's <laughs> so you don't have to watch an hour basically. So uh, here we we've got some cars from the movie, and we've got some G1 cars at the very end as well. So we're gonna take a quick look at them. So here we've got the uh, movie bar from 2007, the first movie. Uh, very nice. Then we've got the uh, the SS Camaro from I think it's a 2014 model. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not really a car person, but th this is really nice. Then we but then we got the old one, which uh, is the first style bumblebee that they showed in the 27 movie when Sam Witwicky first brought his car. So, and then uh, over here. <laughs> We've got the G1 Bumblebee uh, with the massive red Autobot symbol, which is a uh, very, very nice, very sleek design. And then my favorite one, the side swipe, the G1 side swipe with the massive Autobot symbol as well. Very, very nice, very sleek design. Gonna get a side panel of it. 
So, so very, very nice. That, that's actually uh, yeah. really, really cool. I do like that. That's my favorite yeah. one. So, which one's your favorite one, John? I'd say, I would say my favorite is probably the two G1 cars. Yeah, I will admit the G1 cars are very, very nice. Yeah. And next to the movie ones, like, don't get me wrong. Uh, the movie ones are still very, very nice, but the G1. It's just something about the um, yeah. side road, the Lamborghini Contest, I just love. Ah, oh, so nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I've already done like videos and footage of the dealer room. I think I did that yesterday in yesterday's uh, footage. So, I think for the time being, I think we're just going to head back to the bar area. Uh, I need to take some pictures with some of the other uh, YouTube members, uh, part of the uh, community page as well. Definitely need to do that. And apart from that, I think I'm done. Like, uh, in terms of buying toys, I'm done. The, the last thing I got was like an upgrade set for the first edition Viacon. It's the, the barricade one. Uh, I think it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bad cop. Bad cop, that's it, yeah. So I got that. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm basically I'm done uh, for today. So I think uh, the next segment you'll probably see me in is uh, uh, either at the bar when I'm talking to some of the YouTube members or back in the. Uh, uh, on the way home, uh, when we go home uh, later tonight. So yeah. yeah, apart from that, we're gonna leave it where it is. We are going back into the to the bar area now. So uh, either way, I'll see you guys in the next segment. So peace. Thank you very much to all of the uh, third parties and official product licenses who've donated their toys for uh, the display room. It was absolutely fantastic. And all of the community who've donated pieces uh, such as the Rock Lords collection and Beast Wars collection and such. Again, big, big round of applause and thank you for allowing us to reveal some of your stuff for the very first time. Okay, uh, including what we've just done? Right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, some breaking news. Um, uh, in regards to Toy Fu, um, I'm happy to announce that the final figure that will be going to Mary's Meals as part of uh, this whole weekend, including the auction we've just done, uh, is a whopping £3,516.46. Oh. Oh. as well uh, I want to thank a couple of people uh, who were behind the scenes well 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 behind the scenes who helped out um, a lot of people have reached out to us over the course of the year to offer us advice thanks uh, and really just be super generous um, you might have heard a couple of them over the course of the weekend uh, mr. Peter Spellos everybody's friend <laughs> we'd like to give a huge thank you to all of our guests who have made this weekend so special. Can we please have all of our guests up on the stage? Come on, yes. Come on, last show. Ladies and gentlemen, to all of our guests here on stage. And lastly, we'd like to uh, welcome up and introduce uh, two wonderful people who've made this weekend very, very special for a lot of you, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Mr. Paul Lighting. Thank you uh, to all of you uh, for making us feel so welcome uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, without you, Richard, I, none of the uh, rest of the Transformer uh, voiceover people are anything. So we owe everything to you. 
And I mean that truly. So thank you and thank you for letting us join you and feel so comfortable here in Birmingham. This is, I've said it uh, to people individually and I'll say it to everybody, this truly is one of my favorite cons ever because we get to hang out with everybody, you know, instead of being, you know, sequestered somewhere. So we'll be in the bar. You know, so. Thanks so much. Is that recording? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Sadly, it's the end of TF Nation. Yeah, at the ending ceremony, I recorded the majority of that, uh, but it was quite long, so I'm probably just gonna cut up uh, and slice it up and put it into the video. So, yes, uh, at the end of the end, <laughs> I guess, uh, uh, I went to uh, Nick Roche and James Robert. I got my last stand of the Wreckers uh, signed by both of them. I also got a picture with them. I got a picture with quite a few people, so I'm, I'm definitely going to put those uh, in the video as well. Uh, sadly, I believe Dorian, Brad, Tim, and a couple of other people uh, left before I said goodbye. So if you're watching this, the goodbye. I'll see you in a year. So make sure, Dorian, you don't get us lost again. Yes, Dorian. Yes. <laughs> uh, jokes aside, I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It has been an experience of a lifetime. Because last year and the year before that, we only went for the one day, and I don't think it was uh, like it was still good. Like don't get me wrong, it was still uh, incredible. But going for the weekend, it, it's a massive game changer. And how that? I think I went the wrong way. Shit. Uh, yeah, we definitely uh, this way. Oh, is it this way? Oh, oh. I look like an idiot. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, I think the next segment uh, might be when I get back to my own house, uh, and I think that will probably be the end of the vlog there. Uh, and then I've got my Hall and Forts video as well, which I'll definitely be doing. Uh, so yeah. But apart from that, I hope you guys. I enjoyed TF Nation just as much as I did for those that went, uh, those that didn't go. Hopefully I can see you all uh, next week as well. Uh, so yeah, but everyone that did go that I met too, I'm really glad I socialised a lot more this year as well. I bet you are as well, John. TF Nation is amazing. Yes. So, yeah, uh, for those guys that did go on a did meet up, uh, Jack, you're awesome. It was really nice meeting you. Tim, it was awesome meeting you again. Dorian, Dave, it was nice talking to you finally, <laughs> after two years of going. Uh, but either way, an experience of a lifetime. I've actually enjoyed it. So I'll see you all guys next year. Peace.